What video games get wrong about guns? Before I start this video, I never used a gun before. This is only based on my research, and I don't want anyone to get hurt. This is just for information, and only that, and I gathered this from the internet. Obviously, guns in real life, and in shooter games, are two entirely different things. I will be discussing today some main differences. The main difference which I will be talking about in more detail are recoil, weapon damage, gun aim, headshot damage, sound effects, shields, and other mechanics of using a gun in game. First, and I guess the most important topic I want to talk about is gun damage in game versus IRL. Damage is different between all games, but I would say about 2-3 to three headshots are a kill with an assault rifle and probably like 8 shots for a kill for body shots. In real life, it depends on the area. For example, if you shot someone in the heart, it will probably take one bullet to kill them. But if you shot someone in the toe, it won't even do that much. Snipers are still a one shot kill in both IRL and in game though. With damage comes animation. For some reason, if you have 1 HP in basically every first person shooter, you can still jump, run, and basically do anything. In real life, the person might not even be conscious. Another thing about damage are headshots. Usually, you only need to hit like 2 or 3 to kill someone in a game. In real life, it depends on where, but chances are they're dead or in critical condition or unable to fight. The animation of these shots are another thing games get wrong. When you shoot someone in their body, they just get surrounded by blood. Or, they don't even flinch. It's just super weird how you can be low health and still be able to stand up right. I will say this is the second most important part of shooting mechanics in real life versus in game, and that's recoil. Recoil is the same for every bullet you fire in real life. The impact of recoil for weapons in most games are usually straight, slightly up or slightly down in some games. And of course, bloom. Recoil in real life depends on the size of the bullet and the position you fire your gun in. For example, if you're using a pistol and you just fired, that might not have as much recoil as a sniper, which has way more power. Next topic is reloading animations and times. Reloading usually takes about 2 seconds in game, and around 10 seconds in real life. I can see why reload times are faster in game, because it's just gonna be so boring to reload a gun for 10 seconds in the middle of a fight. It's just way off, but it makes sense. Now, the animations of reloading a gun are pretty simple in games. Just grab a new pack of ammo out of the sky, and stick it into your gun. In real life, you gotta unload the magazine, get a new one, stick it in, and pull the slide. In real life, you don't see the enemies. That's just weird if you get three people in a row. So it's designed to reload easily, not designed like a machine gun because you're not in an army. Not just that, but the sounds are different. Obviously, a ton of people know how loud a real gun can be. These can be heard from streets away. Games are actually pretty good when it comes to location because you can hear someone shooting in the same building or a couple buildings away. The sound of guns in game are kind of different though. In real life, it sounds like a huge blast or boom. In game, it feels pretty satisfying, especially when you get those dinks from headshots. It sounds like a clacking sound. Another thing that about sound in games are silencers and suppressors. In real life, it will limit sounds, but in game, it's little to none. Footsteps are a whole nother thing though, but this video is only guns focused. Guns and soap aren't what games get wrong. Your POV and aim are also different. A lot of people already know it's super weird if you pull out your gun to get that FPS look in real life. Games do this just to make it look cool. Aiming is also hard because you don't have a crosshair in real life. You will have to aim in with your gun. Or if practice, you will develop the general direction of where your shot will go. Some things that aren't exactly in the gunplay category, but I'll add these things. First of all, your inventory. Now how are you gonna carry 5 weapons and take them out all at the same time or out of the air? The next thing I want to talk about are shields. It's super weird, for example in Valorant or Fortnite or COD, that shields have less health than normal health. Yes, shields are breakable, but you can definitely stand more bullets than your normal health. Another weird thing is that in some games, you can rest for like 5 seconds and it will automatically regenerate your health. Now whoever made that up was super high. At least have something to heal with, not just let people hide in the map just like that and heal. 
The next thing I'm gonna talk about is upgradable weapon. This concept is just super weird. How is a purple weapon better than a gray weapon when they're not even like different? The weapons are the same and so it's mostly everything else except damage and bloom. Some games like Modern Warfare even lets you level up your weapons. Now that's just fantasy, period. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.